Hello everyone, this is BR Tarog again. Today um, we're bringing you another commentary. This is going to be a PVT on Lost Temple. And uh, you might have seen the last few videos that I've been doing. I've been showing the Void Ray build and you know how it can be quite good. Um, at the moment, the beat is still in the very early stages, so a lot of people sort of don't know how to handle certain builds. And I'm going to show you how to hard counter the Void Ray build. And um, we tried this build loads of times, and pretty much every single time, Void Rays got crushed. So um, I've got Equilateral over here with me, say hello. Hey everyone. Okay, um, he's playing the Protoss at the top. Um, Protoss is his main race, so Terran's my off race. I'm actually really bad with Terran. Uh, I can only play uh, TVP, I can't play any of the other Terran matchups. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to counter the Void Ray build, and it's a variation on the reactor on the barracks, factory, tank, marines push, and you know it involves like taking up really quickly, getting out all your high tech unit. You know you end up getting ravens quite quick, um, depending on what you scout from your opponent. So very standard, you open up um, uh, nine or ten supply, ten supply, eleven racks. Uh, you get your gas at your normal time. You get your supply depots at normal timing as well. Also when you are getting your barracks you should go to the NSV so you can start the orbital command faster and since you already started the barracks faster. Oh yeah, um, that's a good point because the last few games I uh, actually started making an SEV before the barracks and this, this actually really hurts. Um, this particular build, a lot of Terrans on the EU servers are trying this build and um, they're not doing too well with it because their mechanics or their particular build order is slightly off. Um, we've discovered in this build, if you miss even one marine, uh, this can lose you the game. If you lose a supply depot at the start, you lose the game. So it's very easy to, it's very easy to lose against Void Race, because once they get charged, there's no stopping them. If you get the Viking and they're already charged, you're going to lose. Because he just fo uh, focus fire on the Viking with the Void Ray, and the Void Ray will kill it even if there are five marines below the, the Viking. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second here. Um, Protoss went for a very standard build. He went uh, 13 gate, get his cybernetics core, get his gas, get oh. the second pylon. Um, notice how I sent my SEV directly to this base. The reason why is um, if he was in this position and he sends his probe scout this way, uh, if he sends his probe scout this way, his probe would arrive sort of in the early stages of me building my barracks. Uh, if he builds, if he goes nine pylon and then scouts, he would actually arrive before my barracks even starts. So um, this is quite quite a useful tidbit of information. This means I can just scout straight in this direction. Uh, if he goes scout, scouts off this gateway, he'll still arrive sort of in the middle of my barracks, uh, maybe sort of around there in terms of 60% when my barracks is finishing. So I can scout directly in this position and. Um, also, I can send a slightly later scout when his scout comes into my base. Let's talk a little bit about the Terran build. You're actually making only one marine at the start. You're getting your second guess before the factory. You're also getting your factory before uh, the depot. A as you see now, he's not building a depot and he should be starting it right about now with the reactor. So yeah, I think I build my reactor first and I get my depot started there. Um, so, very important, get your second gas before your factory. I actually make a little bit of a mistake here and uh, forget to put guys on gas for a little bit. Um, I'll put them on pretty soon, I think. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's not too much of a loss. Um, you can see the timing in the Protoss base. Uh, I've scouted his three pylons, so I know his tech is going to be one of these three pylons, unless he builds another pylon after killing my SEV. And um, he kills my SCV, I don't see anything special, so later I'm going to use a scan to find out what he's doing. Uh, in this case, I kind of know he's going Void Rays, but um, you see, what I do is I delay my scan a little bit, I give the Protoss a chance to sort of make some tech, and then I scan. Um, I'm going to use my scan pretty soon, uh, probably not just yet. I Although people think it's bad to let the energy build up, I'm deliberately doing it in this case so that I can wait for the Protoss to make some tech. As um, a Macy, he, he started his star pod without scanning, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty safe against all process builds. Even if I didn't go Void Race, he could use that star pod to do something else, like a medivac and drop tanks. He can get Raven and stop stalkers. 
and yeah, it's pretty it's a pretty versatile build. Okay, if we go to the Beyond Hull scan uh, cam, you might have noticed I just used the energy in my orbital command and I scouted the star the stargate. So this is where the build changes slightly. Um, usually, you get a tech lab as soon as your starport finishes. But now, because I know he's going Stargate, he's going to go some kind of Void Ray build. So I'm just going to get Vikings, I'm going to skip the tech lab until later. Until I want Ravens later on in the game. Um, also, I get my factory and I get my siege tank out. There is a small timing, uh, sort of like in StarCraft 1, where uh, Stalkers, or Dragoons, as you might like to call them, uh, have the opportunity to sort of harass your base a little bit. So, use your Marines, use your wall to your advantage. Make sure that the Stalker doesn't damage the wall too much, because later the Viking, is, uh, the Void Ray is going to come, and if he snipes your supply depot, you lose the game. Um, it's really difficult to stop a Void Ray build once you start letting them charge in your buildings. So um, you're going to see here. Also, do not lose Marines. Um, I, I think you can afford to lose maybe one Marine, and you might be okay but it's really bad to lose marines because you need those marines to defend against the void ray and you see here i, I lose a marine um i get another marine damaged but i do delay this this stalker a bit it's even better to lose an scv than to lose the supply depot just not on on scanning if you de delay your scan like this and you scan his main even if even if you don't his, see his stack uh, you should scan near the gateway, and if it doesn't, it isn't turning into a warp gate. He's um, the chances that he's getting void rays are pretty high, because if uh, if he's getting DTs, he'll get warp gates. If he's getting mass uh, gateway units, he's getting warp gates. Okay, so you see now, um, I got my tank out to stop the stalkers, and I know a void ray is coming, so I pretty much rush this Viking. And you can see the timing on this is really nice. The Viking comes out exactly when the Void Ray arrives at your base. And you can just beat this Void Ray build very easily. Uh, you can see it's really easy to defend this. Um, the Void Ray hasn't charged yet, so it can't do anything uh, against the Viking. If your uh, build is a little bit off and the, uh, and the Void Ray manages to charge off, uh, to get his beam charged from the depot, you're going to lose the game. Okay, um, another thing, I make a second Viking, I make another tank, and at this point, I know Protoss can't have much of an army. Um, if we pause for a second and we look at the Protoss base, he's just adding his gateways, he's just like set, just made his expansion, and this is the timing. This is the timing where you need to push out and pretty much just win the game. Um, some people are, th are telling, uh, I heard earlier, they, they said that, um, oh, this doesn't actually work too well, because what... Protoss can do is they can not expand, make gateways first, and then just uh, use the void rays and stalkers or whatever to stop you. This isn't a problem because if the if the Protoss doesn't expand, you can just expand yourself and you get a, a macro economic advantage over the Protoss and all's good. Uh, not only that, I would suggest that going Marauders in the mid game is sort of very much more cost efficient and very mobile, and you 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 end up with quite a very strong advantage if the Protoss doesn't decide to expand before you. Uh, since the Protoss did decide to expand, I'm now going to use this this very tight timing. His warp gates are coming in, um, he doesn't have many units, and literally I just push out a move straight to his base. And you, you're going to see way, how devastating this is in a second. In this game I only made one Void Ray, and that's because I saw his Vikings. I could have uh, continued making Void Rays, but it's not very efficient as you may see in one of our other videos as in uh, in the battle that's not in the turns base it's pretty easy to stop with marines um, also just in case the the protoss is making more void rays notice how i keep i rally all my units here this is so that if a void raid decides to come backstab me i've got like a few marines and